there are, of course, um, a, a long and complex history uh, to this case. Julian's been in some form of detention now for 10 years. He's been in Belmarsh for uh, two years. And I think um, any case that has the ramifications that this case has, has the history that this case... The appeal to people to do now is to clear the decks, to uh, uh, move that prehistory uh, off the table. Uh, because um, although uh, the road here has been long and winding, uh, we have now reached the decisive phase of this campaign. Seems a difficult thing to, to get your head around after, uh, after 10 years, but that's where we are. The decision by um, the magistrate's court on the uh, 4th of January was a watershed in this case. It uh, squashed uh, the American appeal for extradition, uh, and we've now got to make sure that it stays squashed. And that decision will be taken by the appeal court. Um, and therefore, the campaigning period uh, in this um, in this absolutely vital case is now uh, a matter of some months at the most. So we have to focus our energies not on what the debates have been in the past, but what the debates are coming up. What will influence the decision? What will influence the High Court in either upholding the decision uh, to uh, squash the extradition? And therefore, in all probability, if the High Court does that, uh, Julian walks free. Or to reverse it in the Americans' favour, in which case not only does he stay in Belmarsh, but stands a much higher chance of actually being extradited uh, to the United States. So I would say there are two issues. The Americans can only appeal uh, on the decision that the judge made, which is that um, uh, no one in Julian's state of mind should be put inside the American prison system because it will be a risk uh, to his life. And therefore, what we need is petition after petition, speech after speech, article after article, proving, and let's face it, it's not a difficult thing to prove, that the American prison system is, as the judge said it was, oppressive, too brutal for a human being uh, that suffered what Julian has suffered uh, to be put into. And we need to make sure that that case is upheld in the appeal court. And as everybody knows, court cases are won 50% in court, and 50% in the court of public opinion. So convincing people in general in the society that the case that was made is correct, that the prison system is brutal, is oppressive, is a threat to life, uh, needs to be reinforced. The political environment in which the judges will make that decision needs to be reinforced on that critical point. But although it won't be the grounds of the American appeal, we also need to insist that this is all about a free press, all about civil liberties. There is nothing else at stake here, no matter how much has been said about Julian Assange, how much has been said in the past. When it comes right down to it, this is only about one question. Do you think that you are entitled to know what governments are doing with your tax dollars, with your tax pounds, uh, in your name, in foreign theatres of war? That's what the Afghan and Iraq logs were about. That's what Guantanamo Bay files were about. That's what the diplomatic cables were about. If you think you have the right to know what the government is doing in your name, but doesn't want to tell you, then you are a defender of Julian Assange, because that's what he did. And that's the only thing that the Americans are interested in prosecuting him uh, about. So this is all about defending a free press. It's all about defending journalists' and whistleblowers' rights to tell you things that governments and corporations don't want you to know. Now, for all the complexity in the history of this case, that is a blindingly simple uh, message, and it's one which commands the support of millions of our fellow uh, citizens. And so it's an argument that has been increasingly in the last year or so won. And I just want to end with this point. The campaigning has worked. The campaigning has turned the tide. We aren't where we were 18 months or two years ago. Um, when I last visited Julian in Belmarsh um, before the lockdown began, 
he was very, very insistent, as he always is, to make this point. He said, we are not a minority. We are not a minority. We are not a tiny embattled group of people who have to pour over every last thing that happened in the past in order to win public opinion. Amnesty International and practically every civil rights NGO in the world, 40 of them, are on our side. The editorial position of the Daily Telegraph in this country is in favour of Julian Assange. The editorial position of the Daily Mail is in favour of Julian Assange. The editorial position of the Times newspaper is in favour of Julian Assange. Now, if the rest of us on the progressive left uh, can't get this into our heads, I know it's difficult, I know it's hard to understand that the Telegraph might be arguing the same thing as you are, but it happens to be true. And that isn't uh, something which should detract from your enthusiasm. It should be something which builds your enthusiasm because it's the campaigning of ordinary people that have got this change in the political environment to take place. Major union after major union in this country, the biggest union in this country, Unite the Union with 1.5 million members, now has a policy of supporting Julian Assange. So does the National Education Union. So does the National Union of Journalists. So does the Train Drivers Union, ASLEF. We are not alone in this battle. The tide has turned. A victory has been secured and it must be uh, taken forward and not reversed. That's our task. We have weeks and months to do that. So roll up your sleeves, go to the DEA website, get the petitions, get the memes, get the articles, get sharing, go to your trade union, go to your church, go to your mosque, go to your community organization and get this policy through so that it becomes hegemonic in the society, that everybody knows that the majority of their fellow citizens don't, uh, think that Julian Assange shouldn't be extradited. Thanks very much.